This is SSRF in 100 seconds. An SSRF or server side request forgery is a web application vulnerability that allows attackers to make outgoing requests originating from the vulnerable server. Let's take a look at an example. Imagine a website allowing users to update their profile picture through a URL to an image. The web server will need to download this image on the back end. This could be the cause of an SSRF. The impact of this may seem small on the surface, but should not be underestimated because this server may be running in a trusted network where through the use of local host or private IP addresses, non-exposed services could be accessible. This could allow the attacker to perform unauthorized actions, access data within the organization, collect sensitive cloud metadata, or could even result in an arbitrary command execution. In our example from earlier, we could try to see what happens if we input HTTP localhost on port 80 as our profile image. Depending on the result, we could automate the process and then scan the most popular ports for services. This could reveal internal services on, for example, port 8080. Preventing this attack class is not straightforward, as very often internal services need to be able to communicate with each other. However, the following actions can be taken to reduce the risk and impact of an SSRF. This includes the sanitization of all user input, not sending raw responses to clients, disabling HTTP redirections, and setting up an allow list. This has been SSRF in 100 seconds. For more information, check the resources in the description. Which vulnerability would you like to see us cover next? Let us know down in the comments.